Hello guys, this is FlashX007 and I'm here with another quick, quick review and what I'll be reviewing today is the high grade 1144 scale bear guy. So without further ado, let us go over it. And what I want to do first is basically show you guys the amount of detail put onto it and overall there's a lot of big pieces, a lot of big bulky pieces so there's probably not that much detail. But we see detail running around the uh, chest and the arms and a few places you can scribe on the overall face and the mouth as well that's pretty much it and also the legs here's a back view of it and the backpack which honestly I don't know if I built it wrong but this part right here does not reveal so yeah whatever and also the flute which kinda sucks I thought there would be a little gimmick where I can hold it but no I actually can't however if you want to permanently make it hold it you can actually get like super glue or plastic cement and pose it in a way that it is but that's basically it for the details so let's move over to the proportions okay so for the proportions of the model um, I'm gonna try to give it a few noteworthy uh, comments but basically it's very well uh, unproportionate the legs are kind of awkward looking and the arms the, don't mind this uh, this is just add-on pieces, but the arm is entirely short. Um, so yeah, it's shorter than the legs even. So what I did was there's a it comes with six divide um, six extenders A, B, and C. So two of each. And what I did was divide it up to three for each arm. So it's better poseable and it looks better. So that's basically it. But overall, yeah, for the proportions, it's kind of off. And actually, considering um, the original design. This is actually Akai, but it's like a cute ver custom version of it, and it's in Gunpla Builders, so that's why it looks so weird. So yeah, that's basically it. Honestly, in terms of uh, like the build, I know I should put it in my final thoughts, but I thought this would be a pretty fun build. But honestly, I didn't really enjoy building it that much. I enjoyed the Night Gun more than I did this. But anyways, yeah, so let's move over to articulation. And for the articulation, the head moves up, like so, and side 360, maybe side to side. It does jiggle a little, so you can do whatever you want with it. And also the eyepiece, you can adjust the eyepiece accordingly, but it does have a tendency of popping out, so I just place it there. And also the mouth can open, but just that far. So not bad. And also for the uh, shoulders, these shoulders can turn up and down. They're pretty loose, so that's basically it for that. And like I said, I don't really feel like taking them off, but um, there's extenders here that I applied, and this helps the arm extend. Otherwise, normally it would have been here. The, this hand right here would have been here, and that's pretty much it for that. So you can do it any way you want. 360, and with the use of the extenders, you can uh, pose it like in a few ways possible. It's kind of limited in posing, and that's kind of a downfall considering it's a high grade. Um, it definitely should have acquired more posing gimmicks or abilities or features, but unfortunately, it does not. It's a rather simple build, and honestly, um, it's plain as it's plain as vanilla. And I'm gonna get to why that is. So, for the legs, actually. The legs aren't bad, honestly. Um, it can bend and touch the back. I'm not going to say 180 degrees because it's improportionate, but the fact that it can touch the back and that proportionate, I mean, uh, that articulate, it's not bad. So, yeah. And for the back, nothing really moves. It just moves slightly, so nothing noteworthy there. But that's pretty much it for that. So, going over to my uh, add-ons and final thoughts. This model did come with a few extra poly caps and a few extra Akai plastic pieces.
but I don't think those are worth mentioning or covering or showing you guys so those will not be in the video but those are included and the manual even states that do not mind a few pieces they're from the at guy model but this is actually in fact the bear guy so yeah I don't know why they decided to do it that way. Maybe they should have adjusted the runners instead of modifying the Akai and releasing it like that. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. So, for my final thoughts, uh, overall, it's a really different build for me. Uh, I find it rather cute, to be honest. Uh, it's cute, but it's nothing I would really take seriously in terms of, like, modeling. And a lot of people say it's like a, like a sketchbook for custom ideas and that's basically it, what it is uh, you can customize this any way you want there's actually a custom that I saw a few months back the Batman custom so yeah you can actually turn it into funny stuff like that so uh, as long as you have imagination the uh, overall final result is infinite in terms of what you want to do with it but yeah it's basically vanilla in terms of modeling uh, you don't really get much out of it so I didn't really enjoy building it that much and I'm kind of disappointed uh, but anyways if you ask what I want to do with it at first I didn't really want to customize it or anything but now considering how plain as day it is there's no point in leaving it like this so I will be customizing it in fact um, I'll be trying to once I get a better use of my airbrush I'll uh, customize it into Superman so Super Bear Guy uh, if you have my Facebook, I don't know if you guys saw that one video. I made a scratch built uh, unicorn cape. However, I never really finished that project because I just lost uh, just lost creativity in it. But anyways, I also lost the cape too. But I just found it recently. So what I'm gonna do is modify the cape again so I can apply it onto the back. So yeah, the super bear guy will be coming soon. So look forward to that. And with that, I ended off there in terms of recommendations. I recommend it, honestly and truly, if you're going to customize it. If not, don't. Don't waste your money on it. Uh, you can get something better because this retails for 1,800 yen, and that's pretty pricey. And in place of that, you can probably get a nice little high-grade age model, and I definitely do recommend the Age FX. There's like so many reasons why I enjoy the Age FX, but overall, down the line, you'll never regret it, so... Yeah, that's basically a recommendation from me, and I'll end it there. So FlashX007, signing out again. Thanks for watching my reviews, and more will be coming soon as always. So thanks for watching.